Hey, what's going on? This is Subaifan2005 here. Today I'm going to be doing a video about my cell phone collection as, let's check the date, July 24th, 2017. It is now currently 10.47 a.m. as you can see. Today we are going to be doing a video about my cell phone collection. Only my cell phones, but I will also show my other electronics that are here. Now let's start with the most recent phone. This is an LG VX8600 that I found today at the, the Recycle Center. Here is a Garmin New V something. It does work. Got another Garmin. This is a 3580. Let's get them out. Okay, let's turn this thing off. I don't know how to. Okay. That's right get it out so you see broken screen but it does stay here, ouch here is an iPhone 5s 16 gig doesn't work water damage but I placed it into the auto box here here is my blackberry torch maybe one of my favorites it has a 4 gig SD card in it micro SD this one came with a micro SD card 1 gigabyte now it's in the Kibo here, my LG Kibo. Works perfectly. So you see it works. Here is an iPhone 5C, 16 gigabytes on Telus, no longer working. Two of my iPhones are not working. Here is an LG 235C on track phone. It does turn on. Here is the Motorola T720 flip phone. It does turn on. It works perfectly. Here is a T720, no battery. Here is a Motorola V120C. One of the oldest device I have, if not the oldest. The button is on the top, mostly like a Nokia phone. Um, the keyboard I bought it at Value Village for 15 bucks. This I got it from my uncle and this from my best friend. Here is a McLean PDA that my grandfather gave me. Uh, give me, sorry. <laughs> I'm not an English person, 100%. Okay. Um, it doesn't work. I smashed it, the screen because it wasn't working. It says it only needs one battery, but it has two battery compartments. What the heck? This is like the stupidest thing. Reset button. It does come with a pen, but it's so small. It can't be used on a Palm Pilot. But it was kind of cool. This, my grandparents gave me. The, this was their phone when they were going to Amer in the United States. Here is a Motorola V262 flip phone, my dad's old phone. He gave me it. Um, really nice phone. Um, it does use the Motorola interface, but I have the charger. Really nice phone. One of the early phones from my collection. Next we have a Polaroid A2 that you may have seen the video test which is not really good. It's a, only a VGA camera and something annoying a flip phone. You're used to have the camera here but it's here. You're always blocking it. It has the USB port on the bottom mostly like a smartphone as well as the headphone jack on the side which is 3.5 millimeters. Most of the phones uses 2.5 millimeters. This one also, this one, yes, this one, this one uses LG's headphones. Next, we have an LG 300G Net 10. This my friend gave me this one. It does work with the battery of my 5500. Now let's put it in. I tried putting in my track phone SIM card and 
just doesn't work. The SIM card reader is broken. Let's tell this. And let's try. Oh, it seems working. There we go. Do you see? And I have an LG VX5500, which is, which is also another earliest phone. This was my, one of my old phones. I loved it. It was the best phone I had, like, but the iPhone is eating it. Whoops. Let's put it here. Nice phone, but you keep that. Look at the size of it. Even my chocolate has a bigger keypad. Oh, more cell phones. Here's a Samsung Evergreen. This is my grandmother's old phone. We received it in 2012. My sister was a baby. She loved taking pictures with it. So my grandmother just gave it. And then she, my grandmother bought an iPhone 5. 32 gigs on TELUS. And uh, we never used it. But I found it in our trailer, believe it or not saw that it was a micro USB cable, plugged it in, and then ta-da, it was working. Nice phone, I love it. The keyboard is one of the nicest you can find on any phone. But the keyboard on the NV2, or some people in Canada may recognize as the keyboard, which is the model I refer to, is much, much better. And it has two screens, so it's easier. Motorola V262 battery. Try to remove the label. I regret this. <laughs> Here's a Nokia N97. I don't know how I get this. But I got this, but it was in grocery. That's the only thing I know. It uses micro USB, which is gone, which is kind of annoying. Here's a Roam Mobility Breeze. Oh, the camera is not focusing. I think it's an FB201. It does work perfectly. It has a full QWERTY keyboard. Oh, this noise. I bought it when it was in clearance for $35 plus tax. It was originally 39 bucks. You may think this is a camera, but it's not. It's a fake one. It really looks like a lens. Here is an AudioVox CDM8300 that my aunt gave me. The battery is terrible on it. It does charge in a cradle. No um, connection or anything. I don't know how you sync your data to the computer. Really old. Black and white screen. Now let's go for one of the Samsung SCH N 370s that I have. This one has a password and it, I forgot it. So I can't get into it. But the other one has no password so I, get, I can get in. The battery is dead, I think. That's what I was thinking. The screen is much nicer because it's blue. Has an antenna here. Can get the battery out. Pretty big battery built into the back cover. When phones were analog, you need such a you needed such a big battery. Here is an unknown calculator that one of my friends gave me. Um the screen is a little bit messed up, but pretty nice. Has a full alphabetic keyboard. It also has some couple of games and then an alarm clock and English dictionary. It uses two AAA batteries. Here is a Royal Easy View 7 that I bought for two bucks at Valley Village. Really nice PDA, but the screen is dead. But it works. Um, it says, caution, reset unit after replacing batteries. Or if unit fails to operate properly. You see the reset button is here. I didn't know that there was a full QWERTY keyboard on the bottom. And then I didn't know how to reset it. I searched online and found that it had a keyboard. So, <laughs> quite weird. 
this is my other SCH N370. I think this one this one doesn't have the password. But um nice phone. Here is an my old phone, my Alcatel one touch A392CC flop phone that I bought with my own money for $80 at Walmart. Hey, yeah. This is starting to fall off. Okay. Now next phone we got an or it's not a phone but it's more like an in, in dictionary. It's in French. It's an Franklin one. Franklin You see? Um, uses two AAA batteries. Nice thing. Here's the Samsung Note back cover that I found on the street. This is another cover for the T720 that I have. Here's another T720. It was my Dazzle phone. It doesn't work. The other T720 that I have was given to me with the LG 300G but from uh, my best friend. Here's an... LG um, F4M on track form works perfectly fine. This was the last one from for this part. Now we are going to go. Let me get up. Oh. Onto the next row, but here's my iPod Touch 6. My iPhone is charging downstairs. Here's my iPad 2, 32 gig, which I will use to upload this video that is shooting right now on this camera. Here's my GE telephone. <laughs> okay, we can't entire money. Don't know why they made these. Here we have a broken calculator that I swap parts from another. So this is only for parts. My old calculator from school, which is done. So I have to get a new one. Flip cover. Unit in walkie talkies, two of them. I have two T fifty six point five now and two T forty five hundred and two and another scientific calculator or whatever. Now we have to move and go to here. We have a Northern Telecom telephone and then VTEC C S six two nineteen dash two, which I bought a battery brand new for twenty one bucks. So typewriter here it will be moved can't stay there forever my iBook is here now let's go to the wardrobe because I have more stuff here my, all my wallets are here okay here's an ion Walkman which is crap it is playing so slow and it has a lot of tape hiss here's a Knight of Columbus calculator it's I hate it I mean here is an um Radio Shack model EC4004. It's from the 1970s, even 80s. On the bottom, there is a Canon F400. That was also my dad's. Wait, now I have to <coughs> place this here. Here we have a Casio data bank DC2130. Um, works perfectly fine. Here we have a Palm Pilot M125, works, Panasonic SLS361C, a CD Walkman, here is my good working Walkman, it's a Toshiba one, and here we have my Radio Shack Micro 27, and last but not least is this GE Walkman that is not working, Panasonic Telephone, another other one. And uh, yeah, this was my entire cell phone collection as of July 24th, 2017.